one or two. Time is up. Goodbye. Welcome to the ride. You're obviously desperate for some real entertainment. So let's get you right down to the circus floor immediately. How many of you are there? One player? Good. Competition only slows down the game. Are you a first-time rider? Ah, yes. They always come back. I need you to type in your name now. You have beautiful eyes. If you feel like buzzing, use the letter B. Take your seats and enjoy the show. And don't get cotton candy all over the keyboard. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. You Don't Know Jack is brought to you by Lil Frankie's Flea Circus, the circus where every kid's a wiener. And now, here's your host, Buzz. Hey, 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 how you doing? Welcome to You Don't Know Jack the Ride. My name's Buzz, and I'm going to be your guide on your trip down. What's at the bottom, you say? Well, let's just say it's a surprise. Oh! Surprise? Buzz? Helen, what's the deal? What the hell is Buzz doing here? Wait a second. Stand by, please. Cookie? Helen, the trap door in the booth is open. C Cookie, what did you do? What? I didn't do anything. Jesus, Cookie, that trap door goes to the bottom. The bottom? Yes, the bottom. Wow, that's kind of scary. Buzz was supposed to be there, Cookie. There's been a change in the lineup. You're not going on again until after Buzz, Schmitty, and Guy. Oh, come on. I'm into my second episode here. Now, now you're sending me all the way down to the, the, the 350th floor or something? Cookie, get out of the booth. Ray, could you get Guy up here to host, please? You know something? Guy's down on the Hollywood floor harassing Keanu Reeves. I don't think you're going to find him in time. Ugh, fine, Cookie. Fine. You can keep going. Happy now? I'm just here to do my job, Helen. Let's just get on with it already. Hey, I'm all about you. And now, here's your host, Cookie! Hey, how you doing? Welcome. I hope you find this as amusing as a circus high wire act, because we're playing without a net. <laughs> so, uh, are you ready for a three-ring circus? Mm-hmm. Let's ride. Okay, hit your buzzer and try to snag the high... Coming up... Circus of the Flaming Gassy Stars. Okay, you remember Circus of the Stars, right? Well, suppose you see a circus featuring celestial stars. If a white dwarf appears in the center ring, how will his act go over? He'll be the show's biggest, brightest star, he'll just phone in his performance, he'll be a real bang-up success, or he'll die on stage. I don't get it, it went over great in Peoria. White Dwarf Stars are stars that are about to go out once and for all. And I understand they prefer to be called White Little Stars. All right, buzz in for the cash. Oh, God, here's your category. Nothing like a circus tragedy for a good laugh. Okay, play ball. Which of the following sounds would be least amusing to a funambulist? Would it be sound one? Sound two. Ah! Sound three. Ah! Or sound four. Again, that's sound one. Sound two. Ah! Sound three. Ah! Or sound four. A funambulist is a tightrope walker. I'm guessing they wouldn't be amused by the sound of someone falling to their death. But showing on America's Funniest Home Videos... <laughs> and we're talking instant comedy. Now select the highest value and see if you hit the gym. Could I interest you in some roadkill? Remember when 
you see the item that correctly connects the pair, hit your buzzer. And don't forget, figure out the final bonus question, and I'll give you some extra cash. Are you ready to go a little bit crazy? Me too. Let's do it. Pertaining to Greek God's home and Cobalt Blue. What's the common link between these two? Score. The woman wears white and close association. Bell's big invention and yellow hit blank line. System and Spider's Domain. Score. Place to hang your shoes and shafts Richard Round Blank. Score. English Holiday Blank Day and Blank Helena. military officers, and orchestra section. Okay then, bonus. What do all the correct answers have in common? Are they all Christmas ornaments? Kinds of flies? Kinds of rings? You nailed it! Crack it up! what your current score looks like. Let's keep going. All right, bang your buzzer and grab the height. The category is... I'm a graduate of Wasamata U. Okay, you ready for this question? 39.97 is on the table. Here it is. If Rocky the Flying Squirrel became a flying Walenda, what would he be? A gray tightrope walker with a moose pal? A goggles-wearing stunt pilot with a moose pal? A rodent cannonball with a moose pal? Or an androgynous flying clown with a moose pal? You should have picked this. The Flying Walendas are a legendary family of circus performers most famous for their tightrope walking. Unfortunately for Rocky, if he were a Walenda, he'd probably also be known for falling off of said tightrope. Alright, it's time to choose the value. This one's called... Run, don't walk away from your problems. And now, the question. Who would be most likely to run off and join the circus circus? A free spirit who wants to sing on Broadway? A restless... Good bet. Circus Circus is a Las Vegas casino. They've got an amusement park there, a hotel, restaurants, circus acts. Everything for the quiet loner who doesn't like quiet or being alone. Okay, buzz in and lock on to the highest value you can. I like to call this category... I'm so mad I could toot. You ready? Let's go. If you're angrily playing the organ-like instrument known as the calliope, what is the most accurate way to describe what you're doing? What the hell is wrong with this damn piece of mother damn sucker? A calliope is a steam-powered musical instrument, so you'd be blowing off steam. But you just can't stay angry for long when you're playing a calliope, now can you? Hit your buzzer to choose the value of the next question. Okay, give it up for... Boy, did you pick a dilly. Let's get going. If London's Piccadilly Circus were actually a circus, who would be the ringmaster? The god Eros, Lord Nelson, Queen Anne, or St. Paul? In the center of Piccadilly Circus is a fountain statue of a little winged guy. The statue is known as Eros. And if you like clowns, you'll love Piccadilly. There are clowns everywhere. Clowns who shop and have funny hair. Okay, select... 
We're calling this one. Any Palomino is a pal of mine. No. Let's see that question. Say Ringling Brothers actually had a unicorn in their show. According to legend, who would have captured it for them? A trapeze artist of noble blood, a pure of heart lion tamer, a blind strongman, or a virgin ringmaster? According to legend, unicorns can only be captured by virgins. Well, duh, I mean, who would you go to if you were a horny horse? Hey, your category is... The greatest math test on Earth. You've heard P.T. Barnum's famous quote, there's a sucker born every minute, right? Well then. Um, how many suckers were born last April? 1,440, 43,200, 864,000, or 2,592,000? No, that's how many suckers were born last April Fool's Day. In case you're wondering... 60 minutes times 24 hours times 30 days means 43,200 suckers. Of course, since 1871, when Barnum started his circus, there have been about 62 million suckers born, which pretty much explains the Midwest. Oh, what? That joke killed him in Peoria. Hit your buzzer. Coming up. Always remember to keep your barker on a leash. Hey, you know carny is slang for carnival worker, right? Because they have a carny, which group would you expect to try to... Wilson Phillips has a china, a Wendy, and a carny. And how do they guess your weight? They hold on. <laughs> you, you, you see, that that's the name of their big hit song, Hold On. Have some water. All right. Oh, nice pickin'. Well, wouldn't you know it, it's time to play Dis or Dad. And this Dis or Dad question's category is... Let's talk about family. Okay, I'm gonna read off seven names, and for each one I want you to tell me if it's... The name of someone from the comic strip Family Circus, or someone from TV's Family Ties. Each right answer, you get some cash. And you lose cash for a wrong answer or any you don't get to. Okay, you got 30 seconds to nail all seven. Let's do it. Chevy, family circle. Mallory. Billy. Skippy. Jennifer. That's right. Not quite perfect, but you can't get any closer. Let's throw it into your score. All right, there it is. Let's keep moving. All right, buzz in for... Okay, give it up for... It's a three-nipple ring circus. So, have you heard about the bizarre spectacle known as the Jim Rose Circus? They were part of Lollapalooza, for instance. Well, anyway... Say you attend the Jim Rose Circus for some wholesome entertainment. When you leave the show, what's the one thing you'll not have learned about the human body? A penis can carry the weight of two irons, a woman can pleasure herself orally, an adult body can fit through a tennis racket, or it is possible to drink the same beer twice. No, an adult body does go through a tennis racket. Oh, come on, don't get mad again. All right, let's take a look at the right answer. You know, the Jim Rose Circus provides a lot of unique entertainment, but uh, that particular act is not part of it. Okay, folks, let's hear it for Spineless Susie! And remember, ladies, do not try that stunt at home. Yeah, right. All right, bang your butt. There, no clowning around. Here's your clue. All that in one tiny car. But let's not talk about my sexual exploits from high school. Let's uh, check out this jack attack.
right, let's see your final score. <laughs> That's the story. Playing solitaire on the computer is fun, right? But it's hard to remember all those rules. Now there's a computer card game that gets back to the basics. 52 Card Pickup 2000. That's right. 52 Card Pickup 2000 does all the work by throwing the virtual deck all over the virtual room. Whoa! There are cards all over the place. You know what to do next. Here's the four of clubs under this couch. I'm going to pick it up. Wow, there's three or four under this table. I'm going to pick them up. You can play by yourself or set up exciting tournament play. With your web browser, you can even play other people across the Internet. It's simple. It's repetitive. It's 52 Card Pickup 2000. You'll wonder why you ever owned a real deck of cards. Who has time to cook? We don't. We're Sam. And Ella. And we want to invite you down to Sam, Sam and Ella's. Ella's so you can get you and your family a good home raw meal. Sam, Sam and Ella's eats to sell you runny eggs and chickens. Good and raw mayo from the straw. We'll do the finger lickings. We got frog legs and yeast and dry gelatin. You uke to you puke in our dirty kitchen. Acute symptoms may last for one to two days, or maybe prolong again, depending on host factors. Strained characteristics, salmonellas fill your bellies with spore-forming bacteria. Animal feces, all your favorite species, slides down your throats like chum. Yeah. Hey, what's the matter, Jimbo? Uh, I couldn't afford to keep my cell phone. Now driving without being on the phone feels weird. <laughs> Have to pay attention to the road, huh? Yeah. Try this. What's in the bag? It's a cell phone substitute. Put it on. <laughs> I can't see anything with these blinders on. No? I see. It also comes with a five-year-old child. How come horses don't have toes? Why do we pee? Who's that? Where are we going? Me, me, Wow, me. it feels just like hand using hand my hand cell hand phone. Hand <laughs> Not yet. Do you have a hands-free phone? No. Oh, then we have the head-to-shoulder strap. Wow. Popping your head is sideways. With my head fixed to my shoulder, an incessant noise in my ear, and my eyes distracted from the reality around me, I feel just like I'm using my car phone. But I'm not racking up any air time. Hey, we better get to work, buddy. You're right. Speed up. You can't see them, but there's some people riding on bikes just up ahead. <laughs> then let's go. The cell phone substitute. Because you don't need technology to be a menace to society. What's menace to sobriety mean? Next week on Hallie McNeil, Hallie opens up about her maternal instincts. Hallie, I had a really nice time tonight. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Oh, that's just the dancing embryo. He should... Desperate need of appliances? Yeah. Then come on down to yeah. Crazy Leo's House of Used Appliances. Right, Crazy Leo? There's a travesty of shaved electric bacon in my shorts. We've got blenders. <laughs> Lots of blenders. Yeah. Crazy Leo, tell them about our blenders. My Toothbrush is littered with people walking their damn dog. We also have air conditioners for your home or office. I can hold 80 Lincoln Head pennies in my mouth, you idiot! Come on by this Saturday, and the kids get free balloons and a chance to sit on Crazy Leo's lap. In my day, you danced with your pants on your head if you wanted to get a young girlie's attention. Oh, easy there, Leo. That gown's open in the back. We're over here in Merkin Market Square, right next door to Mad Manny's Mattress World. Right, Mad Manny? F*** you. Whoa, that Manny sure is mad, and Leo sure is crazy. How come everything tastes like jello to me, gravy boy? From the pure mountain spring waters of Colorado to the whispering wheat fields of Montana comes whole natural yummy goodness. Whole natural yummy goodness comes in 846 nature bursting flavors, including brand new sparkling flavin. Whole natural yummy goodness is made with the freshest ingredients known to science. If wrapped and stored in a cool, dry place, whole natural yummy goodness will become a treat passed on for generations. Whole natural yummy goodness from Mother Nature to your table via our laboratories. Whole natural yummy goodness from Organico. And Arthur Daniels Heartland Company. One is for the heartache. If you've ever been in love. Two is for the tears. Or just had to do your taxes. I'm itemizing the deductions you've taken through the years. This album is for you. I've got more than $400 of interest in you. 
Then I showed her my long form Check here As sweet as your first kiss If you would like a dollar of your love And as painful as your first audit To go to my election campaign Tax Cuts, the new album by Darren Fick In stores now You should take another deduction For being blind to my love Hey, Aunt Shannon, I just found a pork shoulder underneath that tree. Well, ain't you the lucky one? Here at Aunt Shannon's Meat Pickers Farm, we grow only the freshest kinds of meat. Hey, Aunt Shannon, I just pulled this leg of lamb out of the dead pile. It's still got wool on it and everything. Looks like someone's getting a new pair of mittens and a full belly. Bring the family and spend the day. Aunt Shannon, I'm going to pick my dinner right out of the cow tank. Which one you going to eat? That one over there with the big rubber band around his horns. He's a big one. Come on down to Aunt Shannon's Meat Pickers Farm right next door to the AgriChem Lab. I hope to meet you soon. Uh -huh.